Okay, Let's see if we can get this set up. Um, hello, everybody. I'll give you guys a few minutes to come on. Make sure the lighting is okay. And the phone doesn't fall off my bed. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I see we have one. I'm going to go ahead and start in a few minutes because I know this um, can stay up. Um, hi, Amy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start in just a few minutes because I'll just leave the video up and you, people can watch it anytime they want. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to try not to cough through the whole thing. I have water. Um, I'm better, but we have been sick for over four weeks. It has been quite a trial. Hi, Vicki. Um, so yeah, it started out as the flu, um, a pretty nasty flu bug. And after three weeks, and I was still on the couch, literally on the couch or in bed for three weeks. I called the doctors and they're like, oh my word, girl, you're not supposed to be sick for that long. Um, I ended up having pneumonia. My husband had a really bad sinus infection that he's been on two antibiotics for. One daughter had an ear infection and a sinus infection, another one ear infection. And so this cough <clears throat> has persisted. Um, but we're, we're getting better. We're off the couch. We were able to participate in Christmas. We were sick through Thanksgiving, so it's been a long haul. So, um, hi Nancy. Merry Christmas, you guys. I don't get to see everybody that I'd love to see on Christmas. Um, but it's good to see you. And I don't know if, um, maybe Nancy, could you comment saying hi or something so I can see if I can see the comments? I can see who comes on, but I can't, I don't know if there's going to be any comments. Oh. There we go. There's a comment. Thanks, Vicki. Um, yeah, this was crazy. We are very healthy people. Um, and when we get sick, if we get sick, it's like a cold here or there. But this was this was crazy. Um, uh, somebody I was talking to was saying if it wasn't, I would likely would have been in the hospital. That's how sick we were. Um, just when you're that in bed for that many weeks. <coughs> and my voice was gone for 21 out of 28 days. That was interesting. The ear infection people couldn't hear me and I couldn't talk loud enough, <clears throat> but we're on the mend and we're looking forward to the new year. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share what I kind of have planned for this next few days, four or five days, heading into the new year. You guys know this is my favorite time of the year. This trumps Christmas, this trumps spring, summer. Um, it's a time where I just really co- All right, sorry about that. Um, cozy in with the Lord and spend lots of time with Him. And of course, being sick, <laughs> I've spent the last four weeks with the Lord, which has been so cool. Hi, Leanne. Um, it wasn't cool to be sick, but it was. it's so funny because like I had heard somebody say how the devil won't chase you into the throne room of God. Well, that's what he did. He, he chased me right into the glory. I have had hours and hours and hours of time to listen to teachings, worship music. I have been in the Word more than I would have. Um, so really this God is already using the sickness for good because all it did was chase me in deeper with God. So it, while it was not fun to be sick, it was an absolute incredible time, um, with the Lord. <coughs> so, so I'm just, um, geeked and fired up to go into, um, this, this ending of the year. Hi, Alicia. Um, so what I wanted to share with you guys, if you choose to participate, I'm calling it like a little party, and each year I kind of give um, prompts and stuff, and I just want to encourage you to um, give this as much as you can. Um, the more effort you put into it, I believe the more you're going to get out of it. And so I kind of came up with some words, and um, each day we're going to kind of do a little bit. So the first word is rejoice, um, then reflect and repent and then refresh and reframe. And each day I'll have some prompts for you, but I would encourage you to really get in the secret place with the Lord. Set aside some extra time. I'm not talking about, you know, your normal devotions where you, um, well, I don't know what you do for your devotions, but I'm saying something more than normal um, quiet time. Really take some time to spend time with the Lord um, and go through some of these things that I'm going to ask you. Um, day one should be fun, um, remembering and rejoicing in all that the Lord has done. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And then the second day might be a little more difficult, but I encourage you just to be courageous and face the second day that we're going to do because I really believe um, walking in the fullness of what the Lord has for you in this coming year is dependent upon how much you put into this day. Um, not necessarily this day, but this concept um, of letting go of the past, of forgiving, of recognizing the offense and the bitterness in our hearts and really forgiving and um, repenting and forgiving, but then also receiving healing for our souls. God has just really been teaching me about our soul and the wounds that are created there from um, sins that we commit, sins that other people commit against us. And um, he's just shown me so many areas in my life that, um, that there have been wounds that need to be healed. And um, so we'll talk about that on day two. So some of the, the things that have caused wounds, disappointments, heartbreak, um, offense, things like that. I'm going to really ask you to get with the Lord and ask him to reveal your heart to you and show you, um, what's going on and what we can get healed up. And I'll, um, hopefully go live and we'll walk through a prayer together where we kind of just release those things and receive his healing um, into, into our wounds, our soul, to um, be healed and whole and to let go of all of that. Okay, so we're going to um, rejoice and we're going to reflect and repent. And then the next day we're going to move forward. We're going to leave that behind us and we're going to go forward and um, we're going to refresh and renew our minds a little bit about um, who God is, who we are, what he has for us. And then the last day we're going to reframe. Um, and I just kind of like reframe our year, really get with the Lord and hear what he has to say for uh, to us for our new year. Let him prophesy over your new year. Um, each year, this only becomes more powerful in my life. Um, this year, my word was hope and I had no idea um, what he was going to do with it. But except for he told me early on in the year that he was going to make me a prisoner of hope. And I didn't even know that was a verse in the Bible, and it's in Zechariah. And um, that verse says, return to your stronghold, you prisoner of hope. And there, I don't know how many times this year that he'd be, oh, no, 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 return to your stronghold, which was him. And he was calling me a prisoner of hope to become a prisoner of this hope. So, um, hi, Lindsay, welcome. So, um, it has just been amazing. It has been um, a difficult year on many levels. Um, <clears throat> from the outside, uh, from the outside looking in, I should not have the peace and the joy, um, and the delight that I have in my heart. If you, you know, if you're looking in the natural, our circumstances, um, are extremely, um, difficult in the natural, but I, I am brimming with hope. I am so filled with hope. Um, and he showed me early on how I was afraid to hope, um, I was afraid to hope because I had been disappointed so many times, so many times I thought I had put my hope in him, but they were really in circumstances changing. And when they didn't change, then it just, it was a spiral, um, hopelessness and despair. And I would try to do the right thing and think the right things. And, um, he kind of reworked that for me this year and it's, it's ongoing. I still struggle with it. I'll read back a couple of weeks. I'm like, Oh, that's right. That's right. That's what you said. So um, my word each year has meant so much to me. Hello, Grace. Welcome, sweetie. Um, so, um, before I keep rambling, does anybody have any questions? Um, I just want to know, um, who's going to be participating this week and just really seeking the Lord for what he has, like I said, to kind of reflect and get some healing, um, let go of a lot of baggage and move forward. Um, I get emotional because he's so good. He's just so, so good, ladies. And um, I know life has beaten a lot of you up, a lot of us up. And I can't tell you, I am so filled with hope and joy. Hi, Jan. Welcome. And so I hope that these next few days really bring some healing to your hearts and restore some hope and give you fresh vision for the new year. <clears throat> I can't promise that your circumstances are going to change. And we'll talk about the abundance of God and the abundant life that he gave us. And, you know, for years, I thought that meant circumstances were going to be easy and good. And, and now I see that um, he is my sufficiency. He is what satisfies. He is my abundance. He told me this week that I was a child of abundance and sufficiency. Um, 
And that was so powerful to me to realize that I am his child and he is the all-sufficient God. Um, he is a God of abundance. Uh, yesterday, a child of promise, a child of hope, a child of freedom. Um, we are children of the Most High God, ladies, and he's got so much for us. And so I'm seriously asking you, spend some time in the secret place with him. <coughs> that place where you shut out the world. And that place for me is often this chair that I'm sitting in. And, um, you know, it, it can involve reading the word, it can re involve worship, but I also just encourage you to quiet your heart. You have the Holy Spirit living inside you, okay? So, um, how I like to think of it is like, I'm pointing down here to my gut, like right below my ribs, like that's where I go when I describe where the Spirit is in me. Out of the belly, out of our belly will flow um, living, wa living water. So, um, take the time to sit with him in the secret place, shut out the world, recognize that you are under the shadow of the almighty and just listen to that voice, his voice inside of you. He wants to speak to us ladies. We make it so much more complicated than it really is. Um, he's really been fine tuning my hearing of his voice lately. And, um, it's just, it's just amazing when you shut out the world, when you're seeking him and keep this in mind, like, like, you know, I used to think, oh, but what if it's the devil I'm hearing? What if it's my flesh or whatever? When your eyes are fixed on him and you're seeking him and you're asking the Holy Spirit to speak to you, you can trust that that's what you're hearing. Okay, obviously take it to the word. Um, take it to some trusted, um, mature believers if it's, you know, a tough word or you want to make sure it's from him. But you can hear his voice. He's right there. Um, it's not like you need to, you know, pray and seek for weeks to hear something from him. He's right there. He's always speaking. He is the word. The word is always speaking. Okay. So quiet yourself and hear what he has to say. Like I said, I'm going to ask you some questions coming up this week. Um, <clears throat> don't just go on what, what you think you're supposed to say. Quiet yourself and ask him, ask him to show you his fingerprints over this last year. Ask him to show you areas that you've been offended or hurt or disappointed. And even if it's towards him, and again, we'll, I'll go into these deeper each day, but um, I just want to encourage you just like the secret place and hearing his voice are two things that were just echoing in my mind and my spirit today. Um, I think we um, would all do well to learn um, what it is to be in the secret place um, it's, it's an ever evolving thing for me. I'm learning and learning. Hello, Christy. Oh my gosh. I get emotional thinking about all you ladies. Um, being in the secret place and hearing his voice, ladies, it's just when you hear your father speak to you, when you hear him speak words of love and affirmation, it is life changing. And so, um, <laughs> Like if you were my kids, I'd be grabbing you by the shoulders like I do them. I'm like, you got to listen to him. He's got so much to say. Hello, Tammy. Um, so like I said, you can hear from God. You hear his voice, okay? Um, when you're asking the Holy Spirit to speak to you, he's not going to, the verse about how he's not going to give you, you know, a serpent or a stone. He's going to give you um, his heart. So... <coughs> Yes, Alicia, that's what I'm encouraging. Let's go deeper with him, ladies. If we are in the same place that we were a year ago today, it's not because he doesn't want to take us further. He wants to take us from glory to glory. And so I just want to encourage you and encourage myself. There's so much more. There's so much more um, available. Yes, I know we have the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I know I know we have all... Um, in him, but there's more to know and experience. Otherwise, Paul wouldn't be praying, you know, that we would um, have a spirit of revelation and knowledge, that we would <coughs> um, come to know him more. That means to experience him more. And so, um, you know, just take this time this week and, um, and I just look forward to, by the end of this year, I want to know him more. Oh, I heard a quote yesterday. Let me see if I can remember. I was telling my kids, um, Oh, if you want to be a seer, you have to be a looker, okay? So if you want to see God in your life, you need to be looking for him. We have got to do things differently. If you are not happy or content um, with where you are in your walk with the Lord, which I kind of think there should be a part of this that's never content, that we should always be hungry and, and seeking him. But 
Um, you're not going to find him if you're not looking for him. You have to be a looker. It says you will find me when you search me with all of your heart. Okay? Like, <clears throat> we're actually supposed to be incredibly radical believers. T tell me if this doesn't sound radical to you. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind. Okay? All of us is to love him. That sounds pretty radical to me. I don't know about you, but that sounds radical. And we sometimes shy away from radical. <clears throat> but he wants all of us, all of our hearts, ladies. And so, especially these next couple days and this next year, my encouragement for you and for me is to go deeper, um, to be looking more, to spend more time with him. Get rid of the junk in our lives. I want it gone. I am, I am so done. I am so done um, with the junk that distracts me and keeps me from here. I have um, made some radical changes and cut off um, a lot of stuff because it's keeping me from him. And I, I ask him to continually show me, Lord, what, what else needs to go? I, that song about being prone to wander, that is me. I don't know about you, but man, just a squirrel goes by and I'm gone. And I don't want it anymore. I want him. I want him more. So, um, this week, the next four or five days, I don't quite have it figured out, um, exactly how many days it's going to be, but we're going to rejoice. We're going to reflect and repent and we're going to refresh and we're going to reframe and just really seek the Lord for what he has for us, um, this coming year, uh, it doesn't have to be one word. It's easy if it's just one word. And, and the other thing, too, I remind everybody each year, if it doesn't, if you don't settle in on one word, this is not scriptural. You know, this is not like mandated by scripture. This is no have to. This is just something fun that I do with it, the Lord every year. So if January 1st comes along and you're just all in a tizzy because you don't have one word, it's okay. You don't have to. All right? This is just time to spend. It just pleases his heart to spend time with us. So spend time this week, be seeking him and see, I, I bet you'll be surprised. Um, I'd be interested to hear your guys' hearts on how your word played out this year. Some of you don't even remember. That's okay. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> but my, I felt like my word prophesied over me the whole year. And, and I know that's what he wants for me again this year. And I'm super excited. I've had my word for weeks. Um, of course it's, it's got two meanings to it, and it's got like all kinds of bells and whistles on it, but I'm super excited. Usually I fret each year, like, is this the word? Um, Hi, Vicki. Um, and I question it for weeks, but the minute he gave it to me, I knew it had been building up for weeks and weeks. This word was everywhere. And then when I asked him, which it so surprised me how it, it literally just floated in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so easy. Yeah, I can see how it's that word. And then the next two days, he confirmed it like three or four times in messages I heard, like, like right down to the same exact scripture <coughs> that he had given me <clears throat> and been leading up to it. So I am super excited for my word. Um, and I can't wait to see how that unfolds. So that's kind of all I have to say about, um, for today, going into, I could go on and on um, about the secret place and about hearing his voice um, and what we're going to be doing this week. But does anybody have any questions, um, any thoughts you want to share um, before I sign off? Um, I've been working on typing up the post because I want to have it, have it typed up for some of you who can't watch the videos. But like I said, I also want to spend some time, especially on the second day, um, maybe praying together and... Um, just really seeking him for healing for some of those wounds that we've carried from year to year. Um, and I don't know about you, but I don't want to go keep going around the mountain. I want to be in a different place um, next year from glory to glory to glory is where he wants to take us. And somebody said, too, if you're in the same place um, that you were a year ago, it's not it's not on him. It's not on him. And I, you know me. I am not trying to heap works on you. I am not trying to heap... Um, condemnation on you. I'm just saying, um, he's there. He's always speaking. He's always present. He always wants to pour himself out on us. Um, it, the problem lies in us, in our choices. Hi, Gail. Um, 
So we're going to press in and um, I'm going to press in deeper, harder, further for more. And I would love for anybody to join me um, in that pursuit of him. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. Well, that's not all I have to say, but that's all I'm going to say, unless you guys have a question. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, ours was a little busy. <clears throat> like I said, <clears throat> we were sick for over a month and we're still working on getting better. We're not contagious. So that's good. Tested negative to the, to the flu. Um, three and a half weeks after being sick so that was good news um, but we're getting better and I'm so thankful for this time I really am I have never been so thankful to be so sick it was it was incredible it I, I really don't know how to go back to normal I don't know how to go I don't know what we're gonna do um, hello Renee <coughs> Let me take a drink a sec I don't know what I'm gonna do after January I don't know what my new normal is. My new normal for the last four weeks has been hours and hours with him. Um, I just hardly ever wore makeup because I was always weeping, worshiping, listening to teachings, journaling. I blew through a journal in three weeks. Um, and like I said, he's just like accelerated things in my life. Um, hearing his voice um, clearer. Um, some of the dreams that I've been having have just been incredible. <coughs> and, and then seeking him in the morning and hearing what he has to say about him. Um, ladies, he, he wants he wants to pour into us and speak to us. That I am getting that loud and clear. Um, what he doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's day or night. He's available. He wants to speak to us. I put myself in bed and I'm like, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Listening. My mind and my body goes to sleep, but my spirit is interacting with him all night long. And, and it's just been beautiful. Like, I can't wait to go to bed. I can't wait to go to bed because I know I'm going to meet with him there. I can't wait to get up in the morning because I know I'm going to meet with him there. Um, I'll even lie down and take a nap, whether I'm tired or not. I'll just turn on some just beautiful instrumental music um, and just just soak in his presence just you know meditate on his kindness the other day i was meditating on the kindness and the goodness of god just laying on my back you don't even have to mess up your hair grab your hair put it up put a pillow behind you and just sit there and and i have my phone on my chest with the music playing softly and i just meditate on something like this day it was his kindness um i've been studying the names of jesus and um uh yeah i do um gail i listen to so much. I will post some links. Um, I bet you I have listened to, I mean, three and four hours a day of sermons and teachings that I've listened to in the last four weeks. So I will post some of those. Um, and they're just, a lot of times they're just on YouTube. So, um, and there happened to be that Jim, uh, Jesus 18 conference was while we were sick. Fantastic Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We just sat and watched the teachings and worshipped all day and all night. It was it was crazy, the best sickness um, I've ever had. So I will post some of those great messages. Um, um, yeah, and and what I love, what I'm getting lately too from some of these teachings, is um, the purity and holiness and fear of the Lord. Um, you know. Of course, we all want to walk, walk in the fullness and power of God, but um, we can't walk in that without pureness and holiness. And so there's just been so many teachings about that, even in some of the dreams that God has been revealing to me, um, some of the idols in my heart, some of the generational stuff that, um, you know, that still, even though Jesus broke the curse, like I can still see that pattern in my life and I really feel like he's cleaning house. Um, <clears throat> that's an ongoing thing, obviously, but... He's just revealing to me things that are, it's no longer okay to have these things in your life anymore. Um, and of course, I want to know. I'm asking him continually, but he's really been showing me. Like I said, he's faithful. He wants us to see these things. He wants us to hear his voice and to be seeking him. So um, the more you seek him, the more you will find him. I am living proof. Um, like I said, morning, at night, in the afternoon. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm... I'm fully convinced the more we put into seeking him, the more we're going to find. I think, um, for me, I know for years I thought, you know, where are you, God? I'm, you know, I'm getting up having my quiet time in the morning. Where are you? 
Um, and, he, and he was there, and he met me at that level, but um, the more you strip away of the junk in the world, and the more you press into him, it's overwhelming, ladies. It's, it's, it's overwhelming is the word that I use. Um, I was writing, I tried to write down, like, because it just, it's just rapid fire, like, the scripture that comes to mind, or just his, sensing his presence, or, um, you know, the dreams, the, the, the hearing his voice, it's, I can't even keep up with it anymore, it's, it's just so good, so, um, yeah, so I will post some, um, some great sermons, websites, type things that I have just really, really been blessed by, um, I, um, yeah, just a really good series on hearing from God, um, on dreams, just so many good, good things. Um, so let's go ladies. Let's press in. All right. So much more, so much more for us. He's so much more. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, looking forward to your participation. You know, even if you don't feel like sharing, um, something personal, that's totally fine. Just, you know, just say here in the comments so I know you're you're you read it or you're participating. Don't ever feel like you have to um, share too much. Um, that's my job. I tend to share too much. Anyway, I love you, ladies. It has been such a blessing to be back on She Looketh Well Devotions. Um, we'll see what the Lord has in store, but for sure this week we're really gonna dig in. So take the time. I'm telling you, take the time. Turn off social media. Turn off. TV, turn off whatever it is and really press into him. Um, wouldn't hurt us to fast a little bit either. Fast some food, fast some junk we may have eaten over the holidays. Um, fast the things of the flesh so we can press into him. So I don't know, maybe that's a word for somebody. Anyway, all right, ladies, I will be in touch. I'm going to post um, a little button thing that my daughter made for me and then each day we will press in and do the work okay do the hard work um, of pressing in letting go going forward seeing what he has for us okay thanks ladies